What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. So, the Xbox One X came out yesterday, and <laughs> a lot of Xbox fans are real happy and excited to get the so called most powerful console in the world. Okay? They're so happy about it. You know, they're going out there spending their $500. And all that, and you know, they're, they're just happy of making YouTube videos saying, hey, look, I got the most powerful console in the world. I got the most powerful console in the world. Okay, well, show me something. Where's the games? Where's the Xbox One X exclusives? Guess what? There is none. There is none. The Xbox One X basically enhances games for the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. They have no exclusives at all. There's proof all over the internet. You can look it up for yourself just like I did. So I'm not even thinking about getting no Xbox One X. X no time soon. I have a PS4 and I have an Xbox One S. I'm not going to waste $500 on a damn console just to enhance the graphics or whatever, uh, you know, on the, uh, from games on the Xbox One and Xbox 360. I'm not going to do it. That's a waste of money. That there is an absolute waste of money. Even if I did go and, uh, you know, trade in my uh, Xbox One S, you know, might get $125 and, you know, the price will go down on the Xbox One X from to like 500 to like, I don't know, 375 but with tax probably about still around 400 or so. But still, though, there's no exclusive. So why waste the money? Why waste the money? It's not about being cheap or none of that. It's about what games is there for me to actually play to go buy this most powerful console around. There are so many people out there that's graphic whores, okay? And they will sit up there and they will talk about how the PC is the master race and buy games for the PC. You get the most better graphics. Listen, I'm, for, I'm almost 40 years old, man. Okay, I don't care for gaming all that much. Yes, I do care a little bit about resolution because I don't want my games looking like shit. But at the same time, I don't have to get the most powerful console in the world just to get some good graphics. Don't have to do it. Okay, I play more on my PS4. I play more on that console than I do with my Xbox. I do. I'm sorry. I do. That's just how I am. Right now, I'm having a blast playing The Witcher 3. I'm doing that right now. I don't care about, you know, I could trade my PS4 in and get like 150, then 175, whatever, and go on and get a PS4 Pro. But I ain't got a 4K TV. So, that's another reason why I'm not going to get the Xbox One X. It's just, at this point, it just doesn't make any, any sense to go out and get the most powerful console in the world with no exclusives. This is what the Xbox One X do. All it does, and just like the title right here, enhances your games. Available at launch. This is what it does, and that is it. Okay. You can read all this for yourself here, but it's basically going to give you a list of games from the Xbox 360 and I guess some of the Xbox One that is basically just going to enhance your games. If you care about that that much, you care about enhancing your games, then go ahead. Get the Xbox One X. Get the most powerful console in the world. But this is what it basically does. <clears throat> Especially if you're a graphic whore and you just love to brag about graphics and, and say, well, this got the best graphics in the world. You know, the Xbox One X enhances my, my uh, graphics uh, from the Xbox One S. 
You know what I'm saying? For the original Xbox One, you know, it, up, it upgrades the graphics. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yes, it does. It got all the specs and everything to, to I guess, prove that it's the most co powerful console in the world. But, come on, man. Look at this, man. All these games here on the Xbox One, you can play and don't have to spend $500 on. It won't be as, as enhanced graphics as the Xbox One. Next, but who cares, really? Who really cares, okay? It just doesn't make any sense at this point right now. These are all the games that, you know, once you get the Xbox One X, it just basically enhances. That's what it does. It just enhances all of these games that you have from the Xbox 360 to the, you know, and the Xbox One to the Xbox One. That's all it, the console basically does. That's all it does. I was looking at the launch, um, you know, uh, the Xbox One X launch, you know, whatever that uh, Xbox did, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it was just basically just... Uh, it was something I was going with that, but I forgot what it was. Um, it was just basically telling you, you know, about what the Xbox One X is, is capable of and all that. And uh, and I'm just sitting up here and I'm reading the comment section on the video. Okay, this is what I wanted to talk about. I was reading the comment section of that video and they was everybody was talking about where's the games? Where are the games? Where's the exclusives? You know, there's people, there's fan, there's Xbox fanboys. I'm gonna tell you something about me. I'm a gamer. I'm a, I, I will forever be a gamer more than a fanboy. And yes, there is a difference between being a gamer and being an ex, uh, uh, being a fanboy. Whether it's PlayStation, Nintendo, uh, uh, Sony, or PC. Okay, there's a difference between being a gamer. And a fanboy or what I like to call cheerleaders. Okay? There's a difference. Okay? And I am not a fanboy. I don't even like fanboys. Okay? I really don't like fanboys. And people with damage control to, you know, say for the Xbox One X, you know, the Xbox fanboys will say, well, you know, I care about enhancing my, the resolution or the graphics of my games. And that's the reason why I'm going to spend $500. Well, go do you. Go go out there, spend that money, go out there and get this most powerful console to enhance your games. You know, well, I'm going to tell you something. My Xbox One S right now plays pretty smoothly when it comes to games. Better than the original Xbox One uh, S. No, X, I'm, I'm sorry. The original Xbox One with the big old power brick and damn thing look like a big ass cable box. The S is, is much better, but you know what? To go from that, which I just got, to get the Xbox One X, it just seems like a waste. It does. At this point, maybe on down the line, you know what I'm saying, I'll get the Xbox One X. But right now, I'm not worrying about it. I'm not. Seriously, Microsoft, you got to show me, okay, a real reason why to get this console. You got to show me that. I'm not even going to buy a PS4 Pro. I'm not, I don't have a 4K. The only way you're going to see enhancements is depending on what type of TV you have. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? I got 1080p. I'm not worrying about 4K. No time. I don't care about 4K. It's not about being cheap. It's about, you know, uh, basically, it's, it's, you know, when you get older like me, like, this, like some people care about enhancements. They care about uh, higher resolutions and things like that. And that's fine. But to me, it was about 40 years old or whatever. I don't really care about that shit. I really don't care about that. You know? And because I don't have a 4K TV, and because I'm not even thinking about getting a 4K TV anytime soon, 
I, I, there's no need for me to enhance my game of consoles. I'm okay with what I have right now. I got my PS4 and I got my Xbox One S, on which I shown you in my last video. So I'm good. I'm good right now as far as any kind of, you know, talking about enhancements and things like that. And, you know, talking about getting a 4K, whatever, 4K TV, anything like that. I'm all right with, with what I have right now. That's good enough for me. Okay. I'll wait later on down the line. Maybe about a year or so to get the Xbox One X, you know. Uh, but this is no reason for me right now, you know. The only reason, a lot of reason why the uh, the fanboys, Xbox fanboys are getting it, so they can make YouTube videos and say, look what I got, look what you don't got. Just bragging about it, that's all it is. Xbox One X is nothing but bragging rights to Xbox fanboys. That's all it is. That's all it is. Anyway, y'all, I'm done with this video. I'm done. I'm not getting an Xbox One X no time soon, and I ain't even thinking about it right now. I'm good with what I have. It is what it is. Say what you want, but that's how I feel. Just the bear and I'm out. Peace.